Yeah. The competition ain't smooth enough. Baseline dropping is moving ya. Yeah, we the truth enough. Build it, get a little juice in ya. Girl, are you loosen up or good? Now get low with a Lucifer. One of every drink at the bar, so what's the total? Never mind. The tab he paid like Boost Mobile. Yeah, we global. Hating is a no no, y'all local. Black is about to start seeing rojo. I would rather see green a couple of dead people. Six cents for this money, it's the root of all evil. <laughs> did you see the meat? Did you see the meat? So we are looking at the Sony OLED A1 model. Um, as far as specs and all that, it's about the same as any other OLED for the basics. So organic carbon display, each pixel dictating its own color, contrast, and motion. That's how we can see those deep, deep blacks that yes. we have there. Yes, it is. So perfect contrast, perfect motion. We also get the Android operating system, which is Sony specific compared to the LG OLED, the only other one on the market. Yeah. This guy's going to run faster, operate a little bit better, hit a deeper black level as well in most cases. Although the brand new LG, I'm still not used to, so I can't say exactly how that stacks up. But this guy does have a really cool sound system. If you check out the back here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, um, the stand in the back and stuff like that. And you so know what? Built in subwoofer. Yeah, a lot of people wanted to know, like, with the stand being how it is, and that was one thing they were kind of like iffy about. It doesn't do, it does not take away from the picture at all that it's at a, at a like, kind of a slant. You know what I'm saying? Like, in my in my opinion, I don't see no difference in terms of, like, how it looks. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that, that slanted angle, but it's, it, was, it still looks good. Yeah, it was definitely jarring the first time I saw it, but, like, when we first got it set up here, I kind of angled myself where it would be like right. watching it oh, I fell in love with it like it looks great yeah it does right yeah so this is like a it acts as like a subwoofer right mm -hmm. and like the the volume come it vibrates through the screen is how they have it or something like that uh that's the idea behind it as far as like the actual mechanics i couldn't really tell you i will say when we have the sound on you can hear it throughout the whole room and it's very clear that's not true of any of my other tables okay so this is the volume test here we go as a, like a subwoofer you can kind of feel you kind of get that feel of like a sound bar kind of feel just a tad bit not completely and i heard it's only in mono it's not in stereo right it's only in mono not in stereo so you don't get the full aspect of a sound bar but it's pretty good for just a straight up tv you really don't need a sound bar for it it's it's, it's pretty nice yeah it's not bad at all listen comparing this to the qled a lot of people ask me, like, well, what's the difference between a QLED? Is I, I've always said it's the fact that there's no backlight on the, on the Sony. There's no backlight, so when it, when you get the darks, there's no darker. There's, there's nothing darker than off, right. pretty much. So you're definitely well, on the right. How track. do you how do you feel about the, the QLED versus Samsung's QLED versus this? So the QLED is really just a traditional LED panel by a different name. Gotcha. So a lot of what you're seeing on a QLED is just some of the best stuff coming out of an LED, but it really can't hold a candle to the OLED. You're exactly right. Gotcha. So for more traditional display, if people are still aren't on board with the OLED technology, I understand yeah. QLED for what it is. Mm -hmm. But I mean, this guy is, I mean, it's near perfect as far as the picture quality goes. Yeah, pretty much near perfect. Absolutely yeah. it is. The only reason I would go with a QLED over an OLED is if I felt like I needed a brighter television. I'm definitely leaning towards the A1 and I wanted to see this this one in particular because I want the 65 inch uh, in my game room and I go to other Best Buy, they don't have it on display at all. Right. So this, to actually see it, see it on YouTube is one thing, but seeing it in person, yeah, it's a totally different. Yeah, it's, it's like online dating. It's, it's, it's just serious. Like, oh, absolutely. Up in, <laughs> up in person, she looks a lot, a lot better. Let's throw the olive oil on like that. That's <laughs> I mean, if 4K can look like this, I can't imagine 8K. Man, please. I ain't, we ain't, my brain, my heart ain't ready for that. My belly ain't ready for that, dog. It's ridiculous. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Did you see that meat? <laughs>